Okay, we should be live. Can y'all hear me? Is there an echo? Let me, um, praise the Lord, hold up. <laughs> Let me check. Hopefully it looks good, guys. I, I tried setting it up. I don't know how it looks. It kind of looks dark. I'll probably put more stuff in the future. But everyone give glory to God in the chat. Come on, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being the King of Kings. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for having your Holy Spirit here, Lord. And we are just believing today for a powerful move of God, Lord God. We are believing that your Holy Spirit would have your way, hallelujah. But is it too dark, guys, or not? Nah? Is it too dark? Hold up. Okay. This is kind of better. Hold up. Okay. Can y'all see me now? Or let me, let me, you want me to go back to the old spot? I try, I tried doing it, guys. I tried. Man, all this effort for, for it being too dark. But, hold up. Man. Okay. Is this too dark, guys, or is this good? Okay, word. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for having your way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Y'all y'all gonna have to deal with the darkness, hallelujah, because we about to kick out the kingdom of darkness, and we are bringing the kingdom of God here in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. But yeah, sorry for the shadow. This is like a temporary stream setup. I'm trying to build up like my stream setup. In Jesus' name, but praise the Lord. Um, I'm gonna start the Zoom in a bit, but first I want to get into prayer. I'm gonna post an Instagram real quick saying that we're live, and we'll get straight into it. How many of you? Um, before we start, how many of you are fasting? Is everyone here fasting? Let me um, hold up. Bro said, bro said adjust the settings on the camera. Hold up. Let me put this on. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna take a live picture right now. Then we'll get straight into it in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Okay. Hold up. Live right now. Join. Okay. Yeah, we'll get straight into it, brothers and sisters. We're not playing no games. I know everyone here, you're you're very hungry, you're very thirsty, but we're believing for the Holy Spirit to move. We're believing for God to move powerfully and that he would just come through. You know, it's been a lot of spiritual warfare. How many of you have been going through crazy warfare? I know I know we have some testimonies and we'll get into it. But hold up. Let me post this real quick. But I want to start with what kind of fast? I really want to start with the rules of the fast and the regulation and just things that the the Holy Spirit has put in my heart. And let me let me see the audio. Okay, the audio sounds good. But I'm going to go through rules and regulations. So we'll get into prayer and then we'll get straight into it in Jesus' name. But praise the Lord. Holy Ghost, hallelujah, have your way. Amen. Oh, man, I don't know about this spot. Let me see. Hold up. Ah, okay. Okay. Don't mind the shadow. Don't mind the shadow in Jesus' name. I might have to go to my other spot, guys. I'm not even going to cap because I don't like this. I don't like the lighting. Okay, hold up. I'm going back to the other spot. I just didn't want to go there because I know like the echo is, is really big. But hold up. Technical difficulties. I'm going black screen for a second. I'm setting up the other spot. But hold up. Three, two, one. back in the other spot. How does this look? <laughs> I know this looks way better, but the only thing is there's a reverb or echo or echo. I like this better. In Jesus name. Perfect lighting. Let me get my phone real quick and we'll get straight to it in Jesus name. But hold up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But this looks good, right? My brothers and sisters, it looks better, right? <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. But who's ready? Who's ready? In Jesus' name, before we get into the prayer, who's ready for this fast? 
Everyone, come on. Come on, chat. Yeah, yeah, I have furniture. I'm still setting up, but it's all good. Okay, but we'll get straight into it. We'll say a prayer real quick, and we'll get straight into it. So, Father God, I thank you, Lord, for my brothers and sisters that are on this fast, Lord. We are believing for your Holy Spirit to move mightily, Lord. We are believing, Lord God, for the Holy Spirit to just take over, Lord. We believe, Lord, right now that the power of God is here. For your word says where two or more are gathered, there you'll be in the midst of us, Lord. So we thank you, Lord Jesus. We honor you. We bring glory to your name. And we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, have your way. In Jesus' name. But yeah, the first things first, I want to start with this. I'm personally not going to be doing just a, a three-day water fast or, or dry fast to 6 a.m., 6 p.m. I'm going three days through, no food. You know, how many people here are doing three days all the way? Or how many of you are doing intermediate? I mean, intermediate fast. I, I completely butchered it. But how many of you are doing three day intermediate and how many of you are going three days all the way just from the show of hands? I'm checking the chat. I know it's a little bit delayed, so I'm gonna give it a second. But yeah, praise the Lord. Okay, someone said they're trying to go all three days. Come on, chat. I need you guys to interact with me. Praise the Lord. But I'm about to drop the Zoom link in a second in the name of Jesus Christ, and we'll get straight into it. So I'm going to start the meeting right now. Praise the Lord. Everyone get ready to join the meeting. I'm going to switch over to Zoom in a second. Let me get my OBS. Okay. Hold up. Who here is joining the Zoom? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I'm starting the Zoom in, in about three, two, one. Okay, we're, we're on Zoom. Let me turn off my other camera. Okay, I'm, I'm on the Zoom, so everyone get ready. I'm dropping the link in about three seconds. Let me copy it real quick. Hold up, copy link. Okay. I'm dropping it in, in like two seconds. Bear with me, guys. I'm dropping the link. We're going to have everyone come in. I want you guys to introduce yourself and then... I'm going to drop the rules and, and regulation of the, of the fast, but I'm dropping the link. I'm going to paste it in Jesus' name. Let me post it on my Instagram as well. Okay, let me pin this real quick. Praise the Lord. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pin myself. I know we have a lot of people in here. Hold up. Okay. I'm accepting everyone who's excited. Come on. Everyone say hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know how many of you like fasting, but Y'all are in for a treat. The Holy Ghost is going to move. This is a Holy this Ghost. This is a Holy party. Ghost part. Hold up. Hold, hold up. up. Hold up. Mute, mute. Mute, mute. Everyone mute real quick. Hold up. I'm going to mute everyone. Okay. Praise the Lord. I'm excited. I'm excited. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But hold up. Give me a second. I'm letting, I'm letting everyone join real quick, and then I'm going to drop it. We're all going to introduce ourselves, and then, but I'm going to, I'm going to preach a little bit, you know. How many of you, how many is the first time doing a three-day fast by a show of hands? First timers, hold up, let me go, let me go to the gallery, okay. 
Okay, we got a couple. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. But I want to drop a couple revelations that the Lord showed me with fasting. And um, hold up. I know we got a couple more people. I'm going to drop the link on my Instagram as well. And then we'll get straight into it. Hold up. Okay, okay. Praise the Lord. All right, I just dropped it. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yeah, fasting is definitely key, especially for this season. My brothers and sisters, Halloween is coming up, so we have to fast. And as you could see from the live title, it's if you want to last, you must fast because fasting is key, you know. And um, hold up. I'm just going to wait like five more seconds. If anyone else is joining, let me drop the link one more time and then um, we'll get straight into it in Jesus name. But we'll all we'll all say a prayer in the name of Jesus. But I'm going to wait for everyone to join because I know there's more people. Come on now, unless you are backing out last second. Come on. Rule number one, once you start the fast, there's no downgrading. You can't say I'm doing the whole three days and go back to day one and say, nope, I'm only doing one day. You must finish the fast. The only thing that you could do is upgrade. So let's say you're doing two days. You could only go three. You could only go up. And I'm going to explain why in a second, but we'll, we'll wait. Um, I'm going to give it one more minute and then I'm going to get into the teaching and then we'll, we'll get straight into it. Okay, we got someone else. But everyone stay strong. I know I know it's tempting to eat. You know, I got I got Ritz over here. I got some drinks, but <laughs> we're not gonna fold in Jesus' name. Because I believe that the anointing of the Holy Spirit is here, and I believe that God is gonna pour out something special. He's gonna pour out wisdom and revelation. But before the anointing really starts to, to hit us, we have to consecrate ourselves before we have to make sure our heart is is right with the Lord, but praise the Lord. Okay, I'm gonna start the teaching right now. I'm gonna ask brothers and sisters, if everyone here has oil, I want everyone to anoint yourself. Hold up, we got a couple more people joining. But someone said they forgot about the fast. Oh man. But okay, I'm doing the, the main hub. Okay, hold up, let me zoom out. Okay. Praise the Lord. How many of you guys, my brothers and sisters, how many of you have oil, anointing oil or olive oil per se? How many of you have olive oil? Ra raise your hand if you have olive oil. Okay, we got one. Even if you don't, it's fine, but I'm going to pray regardless for, for the oil because I want everyone to anoint before we, we get into this teaching. But I'm going to pray a special anointing on my brothers and sisters just for God to give us strength, just for increase in the anointing. We need the anointing. How many of you know the anointing breaks the yokes? It's the anointing of the Holy Spirit that breaks the yokes of all bondage. So we need the anointing of God in this season. We need stamina. So the oil is key. We're going to need oil if you don't have oil, just imagine that the Lord is pouring incense and, and anointing you. But let me get my anointing oil as well. Hold up. Jesus name. Okay. I got my oil. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. But someone said, don't turn it off. We're not going to turn it off. I guess some people are going to spectate. We still got 57 people on YouTube. So I guess some are going to spectate, but it's whatever. We'll, um, we'll get straight into it. Praise the Lord. But I have my oil. This is his soap, oil of gladness. I'm going to anoint and I'm going to pray a quick prayer of anointing. So if, if you have oil, I want everyone here to anoint yourself. 
In Jesus' name, you could anoint yourself. If you have olive oil, praise the Lord. I, I love the smell of the oil. It smells so good. If you guys don't have oil, please, on day number two, go to Walmart, go to your local grocery, get olive oil, get anything. You know, it really shows by your faith that you want the Lord to, to anoint you. You know, and we need the anointing. And a lot of people, you ask me, how, how are you so bold? Jay, how are you so bold? How do you preach so bold? How do I get more on fire? It is the oil. And don't get me wrong. It's not the physical oil that matters, but it's the anointing and we need it. But anyways, long story short, we'll get straight into it in Jesus name. But I want to start off with this. This is a revelation that the Lord has shown me. Praise the Lord. And I'm, I'm just getting my notes <clears throat> and I'm going to read a scripture if, if you guys have your Bible, you could open it up. But this is basically making a vow to God. You know, how many of you know what making a vow is? I know many of you know what making a vow is, but in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter five, verse four, it says this, when you vow a vow to God, do not delay paying it, for he has no pleasure in fools. Pay what you vow, you know? And even though this is the Old Testament, God, he's serious about what we declare with our mouth. If we say we're going to fast for three days, we best do it. You know, we, we better do it. And, and this is another revelation that when we say we're going to fast to the Lord, the angels write down our oaths that the angels in heaven, they write down the oaths that we make to God and they take it to the throne. And God is saying, my daughter, my son, they said they're going to do this three day fast. I'm going to. I'm going to store up a blessing for them. But if they don't do it, you miss the blessing. And, and I'm not preaching condemnation. Many of you, you're probably like, oh, man, this is condemnation. But no, this is our heavenly father. God wants to reward us. You know, the word of God says that he's a rewarder of those who seek him diligently. And um, this is the next part. And I'm going to let everyone introduce yourself. Um, hold up. Let me let this sister in. But. I want to talk about compassion, just even the reason why we're fasting. Many of you here, you might be fasting for breakthrough, but there's generally some people here that don't know why we have to fast as believers. But the word of God says that if we walk by the spirit, we will not gratify the desires of the flesh. The lust of the flesh is, is the biggest downfall for many Christians, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh. But when we fast and consecrate ourselves before God, we're saying, Lord, we don't desire the things of the flesh. We want to crucify ourselves with, with Christ and we want to grow spiritually. You know, I know I want to grow spiritually. How many of you, by a show of hands, this week has been hard spiritually? There's been so much distractions. Even with me, like I was thinking, like just to get into prayer, the amount of warfare, just to stay in the word of God the amount of warfare. That's why we have to fast, brothers and sisters, because this is a spiritual battle. And especially with Halloween coming up, the witches and the warlocks, they do not care. They want to keep you out of prayer and they are storing up attacks. How many of you in the middle of the night, you've been waking up to attacks? How many of you by show of hands? Let me, let me go to gallery. Let me go to gallery. Let me, I'm raising my hand. Because the thing about the enemy, the word of God says, praise the Lord, the word of God says that the thief, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Hallelujah. But God has came to give us life and life in abundance. There are certain blessings that the enemy, he could sense the seasons and he comes in like a flood. But the word of God says when the enemy comes in like a flood, God will raise the standard. So the reason why the enemy is attacking so much is because some of you are in the midst of breakthrough. This is breakthrough. Everyone rejoice. I feel the Holy Spirit. This is breakthrough. The moment you finish this fast, breakthrough is going to come like never before. There are some of you, when you wake up in the morning, you feel drained. How many of you, let me, let me see by a show of hands. Let me go back to gallery. I, I, I want to unpin so, so everyone could see. Because I don't, I don't want... Um, I don't want it to just be me as a center, you know? I want my brothers and sisters to see that you're not alone, you know? This is the first step. We're not alone. 
we're, we're in this together. I know we're in the trenches. I know the demon, every demon out of hell is after you, after your soul trying to discourage you. But I just want to encourage you that we suffer together as the body of Christ. And the hand cannot say to the feet, I have no need of you. The arm can't say, oh, I'm not going through what you're going through. We're one body. If, we're, if one of us suffers, we're all going to suffer in Jesus' name. Come on now. But praise the Lord. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish up and then I want everyone to, to introduce yourself. But yeah, basically, the Lord has shown me that some of us, what we got saved from, we're in a race for our soul. Like the word of God says, endure the, the suffering, endure to the end, right? And this is not a works-based salvation, but there's some of you, I'm telling you right now, there's nothing in this world for you to go back to. There's some of you, maybe you could kind of backslide, you could kind of have that little grace, but there's some of you that literally there's a pit, there's a grave with your name on it if you go back to the world. And this is something that I wrote that, that's very profound that a pastor said. He said that there's some races that we can't afford to lose. Someone that's being chased by a dog cannot relate to someone who's being chased by a lion. Oh man, let me repeat that. Someone who is being chased by a dog cannot relate to someone who's being chased by a lion. There are some of you, right? And I'm going to testify. There are some of you right now that cannot afford to not pray. There's some of you, maybe you have that grace, but there's some of you here that can't. And you've seen the ramifications. You've seen the effects of missing a day of prayer or a week of prayer. You've seen the effects of backsliding and it literally destroyed you because the demons in hell are waiting to destroy you guys. And I'm, I'm testifying myself with me. If I don't pray, I literally get attacked. I literally like violently as a leader, I'm being completely transparent. I get raped. I get like literally destroyed by Satan and I feel it. I feel like I cannot afford to not consecrate, to, especially pouring into to my brothers and sisters and posting and, and exposing the kingdom of darkness. You know, I can't afford to. But there's some of you here that might not understand it because you're being chased by little dogs, by little puppies. They might seem intimidating. But I'm here to tell you that it's, it's time to step up because if you walk in the fire of God, this is what's going to come with it. If you're not on fire of God, I want everyone here to examine yourself and really ask yourself, am I going through spiritual warfare because I'm doing what God is calling me to do? Or am I going through spiritual warfare because I'm not? Because those are two different warfares. Those are two different warfares. There's, there's a warfare that is like very subtle because you're not doing anything. It's like, man, why do I feel like, why, why am I going through my second divorce? Why do I feel so far away from God? Have you read your Bible? Are you living in fornication? Are you living in masturbation? But there's warfare when you're kicking the devil's butt, when you're praying, when you're fasting, then the enemy has to come and send a, a demon to distract you. He sends these things. That's the kind of warfare that I wanna equip you brothers and sisters to step into. Because it will produce a fire, but here, I'm here to tell you a secret, and this is why we're fasting, my brothers and sisters. Because, think of it like oil. Have you ever seen a fly step on a fry pan? Have you ever seen a, a bee or, or a roach or, or anything try to get on hot oil? That is why we're fasting, because when the fire, hallelujah, everyone say fire. When the fire of God starts to stir up when you're fasting, the spiritual warfare stops. I'm here to testify it stops. When the fire of God, and this is why we have to fast because what it does to your spirit, man, it's like testosterone, it's like steroids to your spirit, man. And it allows the enemy, oh, I don't want, I don't want to get burned. I'm not going to go near her. I'm not going to go near him. They're going to burn me. And they have to call reinforcements. But that's why we're going to pray tonight and we're going to destroy the reinforcements. We are going to stir up a fire. We are going to destroy the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. But that's the introduction. I'm going to let everyone introduce yourself for everyone here who's fasting. Praise the Lord. But um, we'll, we'll just do it in order. Praise the Lord. But I'm going to go to the live stream and I'm, I'm just going to check the chat. How, 
Everyone chat in chat, go crazy. Bring glory to God in the chat. Everyone in chat. We got 60 people, 18 people on Zoom. But everyone give glory to God. And we'll, we'll do a quick introduction. And I want everyone to, to keep it short, but just basically say your name and, and why you're fasting, what you're expecting God to do through this fast. Because I believe that many of you are going to break through, but we'll start, we'll start in order. Everyone raise your hand or, or we'll just go straight from, we'll start with Mary in and then go, go right and then down, I guess. You don't have to go on camera. It would help to go on camera just to encourage, but we'll, we'll, um, we'll just go down this order. But praise the Lord. Amen. But yeah. Hi. Thank you for doing this, Jay. Um, my name is Marianne, and I'm be fasting to be brought to deep repentance after backsliding for a year. Amen. Praise the Lord. So y'all heard Marianne. Let me um, unpin. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I didn't think it'd be that short, but praise the Lord. Everyone give glory to God for, for my sister for sharing. Let Amen. the Lord restore her. You know, I know what it's like to backslide. When I first started this walk, I was a backslider. But when the fire of God hit me, I never fell again. But praise the Lord. But we'll go to my the next one. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Mariah, and I'm fasting. My prayer is for this. To, to proclaim the good news to all the people me um and to lose any anything that's stifling me from from doing that all the fear um and just to lose lose it all lose it all for for christ to be known to have the boldness to speak the truth um say what what needs to be said for people to <clears throat> for people to um to people, for people to know Christ and to be raised back to life in Him. Come on, come on, everyone, give it up. Amen. Jesus name. Come on. Okay, we got my brother. Praise the Lord. Yo, what's going on? My name is Anthony. Um, bro, how's, the reason I'm fasting, bro, is to be more spiritually strong, bro, and to trample on these serpents, these scorpions, bro, and just to go to these warlocks, these these little witch shops, bro, and just take dominion, bro, and just proclaim the gospel, bro. We got to win souls, bro, as Christians, you know, as believers of Jesus. So that's why I'm here, bro, just to be strengthened in the spirit, bro, and to die to my flesh, bro, deny myself, bro, take on my cross. You already know, man. So that's why I'm doing this, bro, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bro. Come on. Praise the Lord. All yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, hi, Jay. I'm Caitlin. I'm with my son, Brayden, here. Um, so I am fasting because I have uh, some really important decisions coming up, and I'm really really needing some discernment and I always feel like I could be I'm, when I'm really led by the Holy Spirit by fasting um, that gets a little easier to make some decisions so that's why I'm fasting come on praise the Lord <laughs> praise God How's it going, everyone? Uh, God bless. Uh, my name is Josael, and uh, I'm fasting these three days because um, I'm desiring to like encounter the Lord. I've been a Christian my whole life. I was born in, in, in Christianity. You know, you know, as a teenager, you you kind of rebel a little bit, and then, um, but by the grace of God. I'm I'm here and I'm back. I've been back for a while now, but I've I've been designed to like encounter the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You know, 
And just for that, you know, to sharpen my discernment because I know that, you know, big things are coming and we need to be focused. You know, we have to have understanding because if we don't have understanding, you know, we can get easily confused by the enemy and we can't allow that to happen. Amen. Come on. Praise the Lord. Hi, everyone. I'm Brandy, um, and I'm fasting because in the season, I felt like I fell in a, um, if I can say, complacent kind of uh, walk, if that makes sense. Um, and I feel like I've gotten comfortable in, um, like, week by week religion. And I've kind of, I've not forgotten where God's brought me from in my testimony, but I feel like I've my discernment has been off because I have just been getting in the groove like, oh, I go to church and I do this and I serve and I do this and I'm just everywhere and I'm not spending the necessary time, just like Jay said in the beginning of the Zoom, how some of us are given the grace to like, you know, kind of get away with not praying every day. But like, I personally know that God has called me to be an intercessor and that's something we all should be doing is interceding on behalf of like our brothers and sisters that aren't saved and our family, things like that. But I know that that's something that God has graced me, not graced me in is like, is in prayer. I, I need to pray in order to walk day by day and, and have my discernment and to stay on fire for God, that secret place time. So I'm fasting um, to just reignite that fire and, and just get rid of that complacency and um, I'm hoping for a miracle in my family and in my home church as well. Um, a lot of great things I'm expecting God for, and I know that he will do it. God bless y'all. Come on. Love y'all. Praise God. In Jesus' name. Okay. Yeah, Angel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Spotlight is yours. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I'm fasting to, my name is Angel. I'm fasting to be in the word more, to, for, um, to be bold as a lion, to preach the gospel, or to say no to the flesh and yes to the spirit. And, you know, so the Holy Ghost could be with me. And I'm also for healing for my mother, because she's been sick. So um, that's why I'm fasting, for a breakthrough. Amen. Come on. Right, thank you. God bless. Everyone comment breakthrough real quick, because we're believing. I believe that everyone that joined in by faith that's going to do this faithfully is going to receive major breakthrough. The Lord, like, he's been tugging on me, like, do this fast, but encourage others. Don't just do it on secret because I know many of you are encouraged by the walk that I have, you know, but there, there's a key. There's secrets to, to walk in, in, in the fire left. of God. It, it shows you who's up next. But yeah, go for it. Everyone come and break through in Jesus' name. But yeah, we got my brother. Yeah. Go back. Yeah, yeah, you, you on the spotlight. I don't, I don't know how to say your name. Um, I think Enrique. Uh, it's my turn. Yeah, yeah, it's your turn. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, God bless you. You are. Uh, the reason why that I'm fasting is because I want to grow in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, like my brothers say, I want to be bored. You know, to go outside and preach the gospel. Uh, I really like what what Jay uh, usually do in the street, uh, sharing the word with other people, and that is something that touched my heart so much. Uh, and that's why I'm fasting to see the power of God, and, you know, to work through uh, through the difficulties and and get the victory. Come on, praise the Lord. Can you hold this too? Hey, I am fasting because I am tired of the night um, sexual attacks and stuff like that. So I decided to start fasting and praying um, to close doors to 
family, familiar spirits, um, things, doors that was open way before I was born. So I'm coming after it in the name of Jesus and I shall see the victory. Come on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everyone praise the Lord in chat. Praise the Lord. Everyone Amen. praise the Lord in the chat. Give glory to God in the chat. Because I'm going to keep it real, guys. Them, them demons in hell, they have not been giving me a, a break. You know, to be honest, like, I'll, I'll say the reason why I'm fasting after, but them demons, they're, they're not going to escape in Jesus' name. Every demon is going to go back to hell in Jesus' name. But yeah. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so my name is Stan. I'm here to uh, just make my flesh suffer because I want to, I want to, like, move by the spirit more. Uh, yeah, that's my fasting. Good job, bud. Yeah. Come on, praise the Lord. And um, before we go to the next person, I just want to say I want to ask this question because the Lord put it on my heart. Like we are the body of Christ, you know. How many of you would want to, that's doing the fast, would want me to start like a group chat so we could all encourage each other throughout the yes. day? Yes. How many of you would want that? Even the people watching on YouTube, we got 70 people. But I know it's discouraging. I know we need, we need each other as, as the body of Christ. But I'll probably make one at the end. I'll probably post it because the Lord put it on my heart. But yeah, we'll go to the next person. Jesus' name. Hey, uh, my name's and I'm looking, I'm fasting so I can spiritually humble myself. I, that's what I want to do, spiritually humble myself. And I'm, I'm trying to get a um, more tender heart. I went so long with my heart making me just cold stone. And I've been praying that God would just take out this heart of stone and give me a heart of clay. Just, I want to humble myself and I want to go deeper and have a more um, go deeper in the revelation of God's word and what he, what he wants for us, you know. Uh, thank you, man. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I know some people on YouTube, you you probably didn't know that this fast was going on. How many of you on YouTube didn't know? Because it's not too late to join. There's still two more days after this. So you guys can still hop on. The fire of God will hit you. But yeah, I just want to say that real quick. Um, we'll go to the next person. Hey, well, I'm I'm Austin, and uh, I just I just jumped on this this YouTube, and uh, it, Jay, I, I appreciate all you posts, all that uh, just the, the Lord has been doing in your life, man. Uh, so I, I like I said, I just jumped on this YouTube and um, heard your call to fast. Um, I, I had been not eating all day, so it's kind of funny that this is happening, um, but that wasn't intentional. What was yeah. it's me doing, um, you know, vaping. I've been, I've been struggling with vaping uh, with, with the, the sexual dreams. And um, so, so with you calling this to fast, I just, spirit was just like, we'll, we'll, we'll just yes. pour it out. Um, yes. Uh, really appreciate you uh, just being so uh, just listening and being obedient to the spirit man um, so so I am on board with this fast and I'm just praying for a move of God and just to, to and deepen my amen come on amen. praise the Lord in Jesus name amen okay we got iPhone I know these people don't have cameras but praise the Lord We'll just, okay, iPhone. Do, do Yo, any of you have cameras? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, iPhone. All right. Let me, yeah. let me make it. Can, can y'all see iPhone or no? Nah? Like, like, is it spotlight for him or no? Nah? No. Yeah, yeah. Okay, iPhone speak. All right, but uh, I think I can turn on my camera or not. All right, y'all see me? Hey, what's yeah, up, yeah. man of God? Hey, I appreciate yeah, what man. you be doing, man. I see the yeah. bonus, man. Yeah, yeah sir, bro. Yeah. 
Hey, but I didn't know y'all were fasting, but um, like like the other brother, I just jumped in, and then I heard you guys were fasting. So, real talk, I'm just trying to fast to like turn up the the volume of God's voice. And yeah, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to hear God's voice more. You know, the less I feel my like, I've been I've been eating uh this whole day, and I just been feeling like, man, like I haven't been in prayer as much as I like like you said, we need a we we can't afford to not pray. There's a devil out here, and it's like, man, we got we got we got to like be hungry for the word too. So, I'm I'm trying to not feed my flesh. I'm gonna do these two days, and uh, I know the less I feed my flesh, the less mess I'm gonna have to clean up. So I'm gonna get right with God. And yeah, bro, hey, bro, I know you got dents in your armor, bro. I've been seeing those attacks in the streets when you be preaching, man. Keep the armor of God, man, for sure, bro. Amen. Yes, sir, bro. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got the next. Praise the Lord. Hi. Um, so, hello, y'all. No, my name is Mercy. You know, I'm here fasting because I want to make the flesh suffer, you know. Amen. Because he made me suffer, so, you know, God hit him with the left hook, you know. So, just I just want to I just want to make him suffer. Jesus name I'm, and I'm also fasting for a breakthrough so yeah God bless all of you love you guys and yeah that's it Hallelujah. okay we got Don Don do you want to come on camera or or is it dark where you were at hold up we only got three more people but can y'all come on camera or Okay, we got Dawn. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. Um, hi everyone, my name is Dawn and I'm I'm from NZ and um I'm currently joining the fast because I want to stand in the gap for my family. And um I know that the the enemy's been working its hardest to attack my family and my friends. God is so faithful. And so God has you know what the the thing is? He said was like in my spirit, man was like fast and pray, fast and pray, and then until I saw your post on um, Instagram, like man, there's no coincidence of God. So I thought to myself, you know what, that this is the time because the Lord says, you know, I, you know, I the Lord will, um, I the Lord will, you know, um, praise God. I also wanted to for, um, repent. Because uh, um, so many times I've entered on the same sin, which is fornication, and I quit. And so God was like, you know, He convicted me in my heart. He said, Daughter, if you continue to live in sin, you know, you know where you're going to end up, but I do not want you to go, go to hell. So he, he, it's like He's been really trying to call me into His presence. But, um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's the reason why. Us is for our spiritual growth and to get closer to God, as His Word says in James chapter four, eight, draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was good. That was good. Amen. Okay, so we got Lulu. Lulu, you want to come on camera? Or... Hello. If y'all don't, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, my name is Lulu Lopez. Um, So, yeah, I just definitely want to grow stronger in the Lord. Next year, I make, I mean, next month, I, I have a year saved. So, I just want to encounter the Lord on a deeper level. And I know the Lord is rising me as an intercessor. So, I need to also develop my praying life and just encounter the Lord on a deeper level. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay. We got Michael and then one more. Hallelujah. Yeah, hear me? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, um, I'm doing three day fast today, uh, starting today, and uh, I just want to grow closer to the Lord, especially what's going on tomorrow, Halloween. Um, there's a lot of spiritual attacks going on in the spiritual realm during my sleep and in person, so I just want to grow closer and have discernment. And, you know, go out and spread the word tomorrow and win some souls in Jesus' name.
Come on. Amen. Come on. That was good. In Jesus' name. Okay, we got the last person. Anyone else that joins after? Sorry. Not sorry, but <laughs> Stacy is the last but not least. In no. Jesus' name. But yeah. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> Um, my name's Stacy God. Uh, God bless. Um, the reason I'm fasting is because I'm trying to figure out uh, if it. I'm trying to get the discernment between if the Hebrew Israelites are the the correct doctrine, or if the or if like the traditional church is the correct doctrine. So yeah, that's why I'm fasting. Amen. Well, I'm about to answer your. <laughs> I'm about to answer your prayer right now, brother. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me plug in my charger real quick. And then I'm going to answer because there is, there's no coincidence you joined this live. But praise the Lord. The Hebrew Israelites, you know, the word of God says that if you live by the law, you're going to be judged by the law, right? How many of you know that? We're not saved by our skin. We're not saved by our good works, but we're saved through the sacrifice that Jesus Christ did for us. So whatever doctrine, man, you're, you're free to follow whatever. But personally, I put my faith in Jesus Christ. Everyone comment, Jesus Christ. We put our faith in Christ alone. We are saved by grace through faith. Lest any man boast. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So... But Definitely didn't he put say your he... faith in Jesus Christ. Um, don't go by the law. You could, even if you are Israelite, don't trust in the law I'm not. to save you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just trust in Jesus Christ. I hope that answered your prayer. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute everyone real quick because I, I really wanna to say a couple more things. Hallelujah. I'm just gonna mute all real quick, but. Because I want y'all to listen. I want y'all to listen. Everyone in chat, everyone in Zoom, I want everyone really to examine your heart. Really examine your heart and believe God that he's going to show up. The word of God says we could come to the throne of grace with confidence because God hears. If we ask for bread, God will not give us stone. And I know there's some of you that you're fasting for financial issues. You're fat like... Let's, let's be transparent. Some of you are fasting and God wants to bless you in certain areas. Some of you are fasting because you, you honestly, in your mind, you're like, I don't even know what God has called me to do. There's someone in here and I want you to testify who it is because there's people here. You don't know what God has called you to do, but I want to tell you strongholds break when you come to God and be specific. Sometimes God is waiting for you to get into detail. There's some of you here you're being attacked by sexual demons, you know, and you're fasting because of that. You're going through warfare in the nighttime and you're going through warfare that doesn't seem to stop. But God is saying, no, come boldly, come boldly, my son, come boldly, my daughter, because I want to talk about the ramifications of spiritual warfare when you neglect it. And this is going to help many of you here. Someone here is about to manifest because... <laughs> This is about to rip you open out of reality. And it, it hopefully it's going to rip you open in a good way into the calling of God. But one thing the Lord showed me is when you're getting attacked in your sleep or you're not dreaming, you are in a place where you're at a war for your destiny. When Jesus was born, a star went up and King Her Herodias said, we have to kill that baby because his star, the glory on his life, the glory on Jesus's life is a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Hold on, let me accept him. But the glory of God on Jesus's life was a threat. And I'm telling you, there are someone here. There are many people here. You have a destiny. You have a calling. In the realm of the spirit, when you were born, there was a light that shot up. And the Lord was like, I'm using you. I've called you. I've marked you from this day to do something great. But here's the thing, when you're going to sleep and demons are defiling you in your sleep, enforcing sexual morality, making you eat in your sleep, what these things are doing is they're infecting and contaminating your destiny. And that's why 
sometimes when you wake up from these attacks, you, you start to feel disgusted, you start to feel defiled because an exchange happened in the realm of the spirit. You know, I remember one time when I had a, a, a sexual dream, I woke up and it felt like it actually happened because I, I, I had no idea that the enemy was coming to exchange something. You know, he was like exchanging virtues, exchanging your, the glory, the destiny, altering it. And, and this is how I knew after there's, there's many people joining. I'm, I'm going to lock the zoom after because a lot of you are joining now, but it's too late. Come on now. We're in for a treat, but this is the thing that the Lord showed me. When you're going through these dreams, the enemy is exchanging your destiny with sexual morality. He's planting seeds. The word of God talks about when, when men sleep, the enemy came to sow tares. And, and be, be thankful that the enemy is attacking you in the nighttime. Because here's the thing. If the enemy knows that he can't get you in the day, he will try to attack you in the night. But the reason why we are fasting is so the devil will not sow the tares in the night. We need to know the enemy that we are facing. Saints of God, I want you to understand that there is no low that the enemy won't go to get you to backslide. Some of you here, you've been backsliding, but the enemy will send the guy that you want. The enemy will send the girl that you want. The enemy knows everything that you desire. But that's why the word of God says that you must die to yourself. There can't be anything that you desire in your heart but the word of God, but prayer, but Jesus Christ. Because the thing about it is if the enemy can't get you to smoke weed in, in the daytime, he's going to tempt you in your dreams. Do you know that your spirit man could smoke? Guys, ask me how I know. You might say I'm crazy, but I've literally had dreams of demons using familiar faces, using how many of you had dreams of familiar faces? Hold on, let me slow down. How many of you are having dreams of familiar faces? People that are disguised as loved ones, as grandma, grandpa, maybe old classmates, old friends. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, I want to tell you that it's not your friends. Those, are, those faces are what we call familiar spirits. And those familiar spirits, those are demons on assignment to destroy your destiny, to block you from reaching the next because breakthrough is for those that seek God diligently. And you must walk in wisdom. We need wisdom in these last days. I, I see a sister in chat. She says almost every single night. Wow. We're, we're going to pray. We're going to get into prayer, saints of God, tonight. We are evicting the devil tonight. In Jesus name everyone everyone I'm gonna mute everyone I want everyone to, to say this and declare it because the Word of God says that we could speak life or death in the power of the tongue hallelujah but we're all gonna decree and declare it in the name of Jesus glory to God amen amen praise the Lord in Jesus name everyone, 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 amen. Everyone, amen. Everyone, amen. thank you Lord Everyone, everyone listen, everyone listen. On the count of three, we're going to say it with authority. See, this is the thing. In the realm of the spirit, I want to explain this because this is so key. In the realm of the spirit, when all of us are coming and declaring something against the kingdom of darkness, there is power. In the name of Jesus, when we declare something together in sync, we are, we are sending echoes of, of nukes to the kingdom of darkness. We are sending echoes of, of warring angels to literally fight our battles. So on the count of three, I want everyone to say, in the name of Jesus, we evict. In the name of Jesus, we evict. Every demon. Every demon. Every demon. Every arrow. Every arrow. Every arrow. And every attack. And every attack. From the enemy. From the enemy. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And anyone. And anyone. Anyone. That is causing. That is, that is causing. causing. Delay. 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 Setback. Delay. Setback. 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 Or anti-progression. Or anti-progression. Anti 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 Be removed. Be removed. Be removed by fire. 
Watch fire. fire. In, In fire. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus Jesus name. name. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, everyone give glory to God. Everyone give glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I know that was a little bit delayed, but I just want everyone to hear so you guys know that you're not alone. We are coming in, in agreement together to stand against the forces. See, the thing about it that the enemy wants you to think, there's someone here that you feel like you're alone. There's someone here, you're in a wilderness. People around you, they don't have the same fire. You've There's someone here, I hear by the Holy Spirit, you ask your friends, you ask your family to fast with you, but they said, no, I don't need to. Whew. Who is that word for? Because I feel it so strong because people, they can't relate to the compassion that you have to, to go to the deeper things of God. When you, you have a tugging in your heart, I need to go deeper. I know there's more. There's people around you that are like, why? Why, why, are you, why do you want to go deeper? But like, you know, like it, it doesn't matter. Like God it won't condemn you. There, there, there isn't a blessing at the end of this fast. There isn't more. I'm here to tell you that my life is a product. M many of the profound revelations that I had was in fasting and prayer. Deep fasting and prayer, usually three days, the Lord will, will open you up to deeper dimensions. But hear me by the Holy Spirit, saints of God. We have to be fervent because if you're fasting, but you're gossiping, you're not fasting, you're gossiping. If you're, if you're fasting and you're watching porn, you are not fasting. If you are fasting, but you're on Instagram all day, you are not fasting to fast also is to discern the will of God, what God has called you to do. I want to tell you, saints of God, God has created you for a purpose. We live in such a time as this. I want everyone to comment, we are in the last days. Because th this needs to, to be in our spirit. You were created. You could be the last generation. The, the last generation before the end times. Because we are in the last days. We see the signs, everything. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But the thing about it that I want everyone to understand here is there's a parable that talks about the talents that were given to the people of God. And these talents, some were given one, some were given five, some were given even ten. But I want to tell you, for everyone that is in this call and everyone watching in the chat, all of you have talents. And the Lord is expecting a return because the thing about it is we say we're saved by grace. We don't have to work. Well, God wants investment. God might have created you for something, but he is asking you to take the will of God serious. We cannot be slack in hand because the days are serious. If Jesus were to come back and the only talent he were to give you was pray at 5 a.m., but boom, your, your spirit man wakes up at 5 a.m., you roll over, you look at the alarm clock. Oh man, I'm too tired. I don't want to pray. But little did you know that your prayer was to dismantle a, a hidden attack in Israel. Guys, when we pray, things happen. We might not be able to see it, but when we pray, business doors are opening. When we pray, attacks are being stopped. Our prayers are not being taken lightly. When we intercede and stand in the gap, things are moving in the unseen realm. But here's the thing about it, and this is going to convict someone. I'm, I'm not meaning to do it. The word of God in Proverbs says that if you keep your ear from hearing his law, even your prayer is an abomination. God does not hear the prayers of the unrighteous. There's some of you that are praying and you're like, man, why do I feel like God is not hearing? Because he isn't. But here's the thing. The, in, the word of God says in the book of Samuel, when, when Ahab, I think it was Samuel or Kings, correct me if I'm wrong. It said that when Ahab humbled himself, the Lord forgave him. The Lord had mercy on him when he humbled himself. And biblical, biblically humbling yourself is fasting, dying to yourself, crying out. But you have to fast when you do it. Don't say, oh, I'm going to 
sip a Starbucks and I'm, I'm not gonna sip this Starbucks coffee for six hours. I'm not gonna watch porn for six hours. That is not a fast. I'm, I'm not gonna look at my cell phone. Biblically fasting is saying, Lord, I don't desire water. I don't desire food. God, I desire you. Hallelujah. And I know this, saints of God, because the Lord has shown me there are certain spider webs in the realm of the spirit that you can't break without fasting and prayer. It's like fire to those webs. There's someone here that literally God is about to give you a dream that's going to change your life, a vision that's going to change your life. I remember it. I want to testify and I'm going to open up because I want, I want to open it up for, for my brothers and sisters in the Lord. But I remember I did a three-day fast and the Lord opened my spiritual eyes and I was in the realm of the spirit. And I started to see visions, things that I was scared, certain fears that I had didn't break until I went on that three-day fast. And when the Lord opened my eyes, I was seeing in the unseen realm. How many of you know that there's an unseen realm? There's a spiritual realm that's more real than this realm. But God cannot open your spiritual eyes if you're living in the flesh. There's certain revelations that God wants to give you, but you must go deep. See, in the realm of the spirit, it's the, the hidden things made known. And, and this is many people, I don't know how many people here did psychedelics, you know, or you did um, things that like meditation and new age things that tap into the realm of the spirit, but that's illegal. But I want to tell you that there's a legal way to tap into the realm of the spirit. And it's through prayer and fasting and reading the word of God. And there's someone here, there's a couple of you here that have seen gifts. You could see into the realm of the spirit and glimpse, but I believe that God, he wants to purify your spiritual eyes and he wants to give you deeper revelation, but we must press forward. We must press forward in Jesus name. But I'm going to open it up for a little bit. If anyone has any questions or any statements, because I don't want to, I don't want to just talk this whole time, but I want everyone to be interactive and just really just state what you want to see from God, what you're expecting, and just any thoughts of, of what's being spoken right now in Jesus' name. But yeah, you could raise your hand or you could, let me unmute. I'll, I'll unmute, just raise your hand in, in the chat or physically and I'll unmute you. If not, then I'll keep going. But praise the Lord. Hold up. Okay, we got this brother. Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let me unmute you real quick. Hold up. Hold up. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. There we go. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, fasting is very powerful. My first time fasting... Uh, it was a three-day uh, no food fast. I was just drinking water, um, and um, like the second day, second night, I had a vision um, of like a, like a like it was just thundering, lightning, and a, it was like a barren wasteland. And then the next night, it was a uh, had, had been a drought for about a month and a half, and uh, the next night it was thundering all over the sky like never before. I've never seen it like that in my life. And uh, th this is my first time fasting. Like, I was like, wow, like you can really connect more with God. You can really get closer to God by fasting. He can really show you different things and, and give you different um, like visions and, 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 and wonders. So it, it's a powerful thing and it's a beautiful thing. And, you know, uh, don't get discouraged. We're all here to help. We're all the body. And um, somebody might be the arm, somebody might be the fingers. And without the arm, your fingers won't work. So we're here to help each other. So, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Anyone else? Anyone else want to share? I know my brother after just joined. You want to speak? Okay, we got Nicholas. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hold up. Let me unmute him real quick. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, well, uh, like a few a few weeks ago or like a week ago, I'm trying to make it do a three day fast. I've only been able to do like a two day fast. My flesh just breaks in, and you know, it's not a 
But I know I can make it through a three-day fast. I'm just going to have to just push through it. But And I'm actually I'm moving churches from a church that's like, there's like no holy fire there, bro. It's just like, uh, like I know nobody's probably fasting. You know, the preacher's kind of, you know, he doesn't, I've been to his family's house. You know, they're really not living holy. How You know, how a holy living really is. But, um... But I just want to be able to break through a, a, a like a two day fast and just go all all three days so I can really, you know, uh, mature up in the spiritual. Just mature, you know, if that makes any sense. Amen. But, Praise God. Hallelujah. Anyone else? Anyone else before? Okay, you got an angel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hold up, let me mute back him. <laughs> okay. Um, Angel, I'm about to unmute you in a second. I'm just finding your name. Praise the Lord. There we go. Okay, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Um, to those, God has put me in my heart right now to say Psalms 4.8. I will both fly me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. So every time when we pray at night, we pray this Bible verse for God to protect us. He's putting that in my heart right now. Amen. I just wanted to pray. Hallelujah. Okay. I saw someone else, and then and then I'll get back, because I, I have a little bit more. I'll let after speak after, Okay. Every, raise your hand. Who who wants to speak after? Okay, we got a couple. We got a couple. I'll just go in order. I saw Diamond first. Okay, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, oh my bad. I said okay. Hey guys, I just want to say something really quick for the people who are um, going through the situation with like you know, being sexually attacked in your sleep. Um, even when this fast is over, three days can, you know, it could be a start, but I just encourage you to keep going. You might you might be on another three-day fast next week. You might be on another three-day fast again, but just, just don't give up. You know, don't give up. Do not give up. Don't be discouraged. Like, you will see the victory. You know, God will lead you, and he'll show you exactly what that open door is, what you need to close, what you need to stop doing, you know, what you need to renounce, and, you know, and that sexual attack. Because sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I went to sleep and said 99 Bible verses and still got sexually assaulted in my dreams. You know, so sometimes you just have to, you know, get to the bottom of that open door, find out what it is. And God will show you, he'll give you a dream and say, hey, this happened a long time ago. You need to renounce this. You need to do this. You need to do that. And, you know, closing that door. So I just wanted to let you know, it may not just be this three-day fast. You may go back on next week. Keep going and don't quit. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I, I want to um, speak real quick for a second, just with anyone who is battling demonic attacks in, in the nighttime. Some of you, like, like I said before, some of you are being chased by dogs, so you might not get attacked in the nighttime. This, this word is not for everyone, but for the people that you cannot afford to not pray, this word is for you because there's a reason why. As someone who is walking in their calling, and the Lord showed me later on in my walk, there's a reason why you're being attacked so much. Someone here, you're about to get married. So the devil is sending a, a, a spirit spouse in the realm of the spirit to marry you. Or maybe you're in a marriage or relationship. So the devil is sending a, a spirit spouse to bring to sow discord in the marriage. And the enemy could do it. He has the legal right. The word of God says that he is the prince of the power of the air. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, we must know how to cancel these things. Because there's certain deposits, and, and I'm going to pray deliverance tomorrow, but there's certain deposits that the enemy could sow that if we don't fully um, withdraw and, and basically terminate it from our body, these seeds need to grow, and they're going to grow. You know, I, my bad, they don't need to grow, but they're going to grow because every seed that's planted, whether it's good or bad, it has to grow. 
Those are just the laws of nature of science. If you plant a seed and you're watering that seed, it's going to grow regardless, you know, and the enemy will always send the right people. You, you get attacked and then you wake up and now, now your ex is texting you because these spirit spouses, they work with familiar spirits and their whole goal is to get you to fall into fornication, to fall into poverty. The enemy he's after everything good because the enemy is a liar, but I'm going a, I'm to a give this spotlight over. I'll, I'll, I'll preach more after, but I saw a couple people. I saw my brother here. Let me, let me pin him real quick. I know he had hey, something man. to say. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, so what I want to say is uh, about three months ago, I was radically saved, and uh, I was in a bad tractor trailer accident. I have a spinal fusion from L3 to S1. The doctors had me on um, oxycodone, so many drugs. I actually started smoking weed also. They prescribed me weed with it too. And I was drinking on top of that. And I want to say that, you know, Jesus is king. Not only did he heal my back, not only does it, did I get out of the wheelchair and walk, not only did this right here happen, but I didn't have not one night of detox. I took all of the pills, all of the, the drinks and everything, took it out and burned every bit of it that night. Radically saved. I just want to say the power in the name of Jesus, and I want to glorify His name right now. That He completely saved me, completely changed my life. Thank you so much for being on here. I just wanted to let that out and let people know that if you need healing, Jesus will heal you. I promise you. You just got to believe. Come on, praise the Lord. Come on, but that's the thing too. Many of you, you've been radically saved. Come on now. Come on now. For everyone here. That has been radically saved. We need to be radically for God. We need to be radical for God. Come on now. I'm getting stirred up just hearing the testimonies. Because I remember when I was in the club going hard for the devil, trying to chase tail, being in the clubs all night, smoking weed all night cursing a storm come on we need to be radical if we want to overcome the schemes of the enemy we have to be radical there's some of you here that are like man i just can't wait till i eat man i can't wait till i get a sip of water some of you that are in a dry fast i don't know the fast that you guys are doing but i'm i'm gonna say this for everyone here that's fasting deny yourself let the old man die and i'm gonna read a parable after but i'm gonna let the other speak so i see diamond i know after had something to say my brother after man why is everyone in their car just wondering <laughs> everyone's in their car man <laughs> and i'm mobile right now but i just wanted to say man like to everybody that's really struggling right now i know i've been open to jay about this before in the past bro but for some reason it's been harder than ever to really, really lock in and fast. Um, not even just these past few weeks, but like maybe I'll say the past couple of months, I don't know why, but for some reason the, for some reason it's just harder to really fast. Like I would go for like, you know, two or three days or such, but I find myself falling short to like a day or a day and a half, but I want to encourage everybody else like in the chat too that is struggling with that too is that God sees your sacrifice man like God sees you he sees your heart he sees everything and he's giving you the grace for it and there's a lot of people going through a lot of spiritual warfare right now especially in this time and just know that we're breaking we've broken into a new season man this is officially a new season and the spiritual warfare is heavy. Of course, you carry the Holy Spirit, man. Them devils, they're going to get mad when you walk in the room. But just know that greater is he that's in you. And just through it all, just hold on to him, man. Like, stay on that solid rock. Stay to the rock. Cling to the rock, man. He's going to take you through. But I just wanted to also, like, encourage those people that are feeling like they're having a lot of trouble with fasting right now because you know, you're not alone. You're not alone. None of us are exempt. Man, but God sees us all. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, After. Okay. I think there was one more. Okay, my sister here has her hand up.
Oh, never mind. My brother, my brother. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't see your thing. <laughs> my bad, my bad. But yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna meet you real quick. There we go. I'm unmuted. Yeah, yeah. Okay, man. What's up, y'all? My name is Paris. No, like it's so real. Like during this time, man, it's time to get that fire. Like, man, I'm, I'm talking about that. That fire, like. Make sure you you stand prepared. Make sure you stand prepared. You got that oil, and you and you not like the, the the foolish virgins who didn't that wasn't ready, you know, uh, for the for when the bride um for for the bridegroom. But when you got that oil, it's it's only a matter of time till Father God just lights that oil and brings brings forth a special anointing for you so that your light can be shown and you can be that house upon the mountain that that light upon the table that brings light to the whole house. So I'm a student at Alabama a and University. And so you know, I don't know if anybody's from watching that from my school, but definitely like during this time, it's a lot of spiritual warfare going on and, and fasting and um, just standing in the word of God. Like if you having trouble with reading the word, what I would say is just you know, fast, of course, because you in your flesh. Your flesh doesn't want to do the things of God. It wants to It wants to do what it wants to do. But your spirit, once you die to your flesh, you will be able to open up the word. And, you know, God will just, he'll just work with, he'll just work with you where you at. And eventually, you know, God will, you know, strengthen that desire. Because, like, for me, it's been something, it's been like, you know, you. I'm sure Jay can testify to this. Like he's, you see, you see how anointed he is for the word of God. How hungry he is. It'll get to the point where he reveals to you that, you know, it's a battle between light and darkness, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of light. And that's what you would God to open your eyes to see just exactly what is going on in the world right now. And it's a battle. It's we battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the spiritual wickedness in, in hot places. So you have to put your armor on and gird up your gird up your loins with what knowledge with with the truth. You know, you put your faith through God to put you through things, so that your faith will grow stronger and that will act as a bigger shield. Because it's our faith in our our the armor of God. We put in our faith in God and. and you know, he just read from a, a verse, Psalms 91, you know, he's our strong talk. But I don't want to say, I don't want to say no more, but definitely like this is a time like no no other for, for that remnant to, to rise up and to walk in their calling. Because you get tired of like living carn living in the carnal, carnal world. You want to serve God. You don't want to serve man. You want to, you know, you want to, you want to live and living for God is really living. But God bless that was good. That was good. Praise the Lord. I appreciate you, brother, for coming up. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. But yeah. Um, okay, let me. Okay, we should be good. I'm gonna pin back. Um, Sister Leslie, I, I know you just joined. Do you wanna say anything real quick? Okay, we got we got one more. Hold up. Sister Leslie, do you do you have anything to say real quick? Or... Okay. Okay, Michael, I just unmuted you. Praise the Lord. Good evening. How are you? Uh, this is the first time my son has been listening to you for a long time, and I happen to be sitting back here and listening as well. And one of the things you mentioned, which I know has been happening in our household, is definitely these attacks that come in your sleep. And the fact that you brought that up caught my attention. So we're really going to be fasting and trying to break this. And the wisdom on that would be very helpful because we did not. This is something that was new to me. And I was aware of it. But also I knew that, you know, the enemy can't confront us you know, in the day when we're alert, we're in the word, we're paying attention. So I noticed that he's been sneaking in in the night hours. And so learning how to break that stronghold when you're sleeping would be very helpful. That's all I want to say. Amen. Hallelujah. I appreciate you. 
And this is confirmation that even, hold up, let me go back. Because the Lord has really opened my eyes, especially in this leadership position that he's put me in, to pour into you, brothers and sisters. Because I'm not even going to lie. My spirit man, too, a part of me was like, man, I'm just going to go on this fast, God. I'm going to get right. I'm going to stir up this anointing, you know, and I'm going to just keep it to myself. But I really want to give you, brothers and sisters, the keys. I, I really pray that all of you could look at the fruit of my life and hold value to what I'm saying, not just like, oh, man, because I know we can look at the flesh and be like, man, he's young. You know, I don't I don't know if this is going to work. But I'm here to testify. Don't even take my words, but take the Holy Spirit in me's words that the Holy Spirit has given certain mysteries to be successful, to be on fire, to not lose it. Even um, the word of God says when, when the enemy came in and, and the, the storm was coming and, and the houses were, were falling, you know, because it was built on sand, the one that was built on the rock did not fall. But I want to ask you this, and this is foundational. What is your house built on? Because if you go on this fast, but your house is not built on the rock, you're going to fall. You're going you're gonna to go on this fast and be like, man, I did good. And then you're going to fall to pornography. You're going to fall to masturbation, fornication, because your heart has to be right. And I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters, if you're fasting because I'm fasting, your heart is not in the right place. I don't even like going public saying I'm going to fast because the word of God even says, do not these things to be seen like men, like the Pharisees do. Why, did, why were the Pharisees the Pharisees? A lot of what the Pharisees did were to be seen by others, but your heart should be like, I want to be seen by my father. I want to be seen by God because God is here. He put it on my heart. Everyone that's here, you are handpicked to be on this fast for breakthrough. Not one of you that is going to go on this fast with the right heart is not going to break through because the Lord told me for those that seek him diligently, I trust in the word of God. Those who seek him diligently will be rewarded. I'm even praying that some of you are going to be imparted with a special anointing. There's going to be a special fire. Those night attacks, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, it will be canceled because this is what the Lord showed me. There, there's a proverb that says, can a man touch fire and not get burned? Can, can feet walk on coals and not get burned? Same thing with Satan. Can Satan come near the fire of God and not get burned? Those demons, the same way they came in, they're going to run out seven different ways. They come into your room to try to bring a sexual dream. They're going to have to run seven different ways. There's confidence and anointing that is being released. Everyone lift up your hands. I feel the anointing strong. Everyone lift up your hands, one hand. I'm going to pray the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon you. May these attacks stop. I'm a living witness. These attacks, they were keeping me bondage, keeping me from walking in the calling of God. Some of you are being attacked. You don't even know that these attacks are giving you so much discouragement that Satan is saying, I cannot let them walk in their calling. But let tonight be the day that your life is never the same, that you walk in your calling. So I just pray by the Holy Spirit, Lord, right now, I pray the anointing of the Holy Ghost, Lord. I pray for my brother and sister, Lord. I pray for everyone here, Lord. I pray the special anointing, Lord, to break the yokes, Lord. I come against every spiritual night creature, every spiritual attack. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. I sever every chain. I sever every bondage. I pray fire in the name of Jesus. I sever every energy. Someone here, you've been looking for energy. You, you've been drained. You wake up in the morning and you feel drained. I pray, Lord, that that spirit that is draining their energy would be broken in Jesus' name. And I pray fire in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray a stirring up, Lord God, in their spirit right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray the stirring up of the fire of the Holy Ghost, the anointing that breaks the yokes, Lord. I pray fresh wind, Lord, upon their life, Lord. I pray that your Holy Spirit would have your way. In Jesus' name, how many of you feel the fire? Everyone give glory to God in the chat. I want to release that special anointing that's going to break the yokes because there's a lie from the enemy that you, you always have to go through spiritual warfare. You always have to be suffering. You always have to be busted 
I don't know how they say it. Dusted, busted, and disgusted. I think that's how they say it. But the truth is when you're walking in the fire of God, the same way the enemy came in, he has to flee. And he will call reinforcements. See, the thing about the enemy, right? The enemy is a, is a, you might be a lightweight in the spirit. You might be fighting heavyweight demons. There's some of you, I could tell the demons that you're fighting. Hold up, let me invite this sister back. But there's some of you and you could testify because you are doing the right thing and you're still being attacked. There's some of you here that are praying and fasting. You're reading your Bible, but you're still getting attacked. The reason why is because you're not a lightweight anymore. The demons that you're fighting, they're heavyweights. But the thing about your spirit man is your spirit man is a lightweight because you don't feed your spirit man with fasting. You don't feed your spirit man with oil. We need to come, hallelujah, we need to come with boldness, but we need to come with fire because when we hit the devil with anointing, he cannot get back up. But the thing about it is the demons that are heavyweight, they're like, oh man, look at this little guy. You know, if I, if I come in into their, their room at night, I, I, I know I could get them. I, I know I could touch them. I know I could give them sleep paralysis. I know I could give them disgusting dreams, dreams of their grandmother, dream, dreams of their grandfather, dreams of people stabbing them, shooting at them because they're lightweight. But I'm here to tell you, saints of God, when you start to pray and fast, you start to become a heavyweight in the spirit. The same demons that were laughing at you, taunting you like the bully. Some of you in the realm of the spirit, you might not be getting bullied physically, but you're getting bullied spiritually. Every time the devil sees that your spirit man is weak, he's like, I'm going to throw my best shot and I know it's going to hit them. Well, I'm here to tell you the secret the secret to fighting these demons is prayer and fasting. And I'm going to give a token. I'm going to give a token. This is going to be hard for some of you, a hard pill to swallow. You want to take it to the next step. You, you, you've been doing a water fast. Okay, that's cool. Try not eating and not drinking. Go say, Lord, I'm not going to drink or eat for a day. Watch how your spirit man start. And this is only for a few people. I know some of you are like, I can't do that, Jay. But start small. I'm telling you, dry fasting is, is like spiritual testosterone in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invite my sister. Hold up. I, wanna, I think she has a question. So let me, let me put her on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, let me unmute you real quick. I know you're like, oh, me? But yeah. Hold Thanks, on. Jay. Before you started praying that, I turned in Isaiah, and I, I put it in the chat a few minutes ago, and it's Isaiah 58, and the chapter is talking about basically how they're seeking God daily, but as if they were doing the right thing, as if they were righteous, but they weren't, and they were just seeking him in vain. And the verse 6, 58, uh, 8, 6 says, this is not the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke. And I just wanted to share that because also the verse in Joel, like, rend your hearts and not your garments. We could rend this fast like a garment, but if our hearts aren't rended, it's hypocrisy, and God hates that. So I just wanted to say that for myself as well. Yeah, yeah, praise the Lord. Glory to God. But yeah, the word of God talks about even love, you know, if, if we don't have love, we don't have anything, you know, we should be fasting. The, the first reason why we should be fasting is because we love God, you know, not just because we want spiritual power, we want fire, but no, we want to be on fire for God because we love him. You know, the things that God has saved some of us from, we cannot afford to live in the flesh because Apostle Paul said, there's no good thing that dwelleth in my flesh. Apostle Paul, someone who wrote much of the Bible. <laughs> like, I look at that and I carry the fear of the Lord because I'm here to tell you, saints of God, we should look at our life and be like, there's nothing good that dwelleth in my flesh. And I'm here to testify to some of you and I'll, I'll, I'll open it up for some of you to speak. But 
I don't like you, you, you guys want me to be completely transparent. I don't street preach unless I fast. I don't even, I don't do anything like for the Lord unless I'm fasting. You know, that's why there, there's a tangible fire because there's some of you here in your flesh, maybe you're insecure. Maybe it's the opposite in your flesh. Maybe you're prideful. With me, I know I'm nothing. In the flesh, I'm nothing. There's no good thing, no boldness. Literally, in the flesh, before I got saved, I couldn't even look myself in the mirror because of how much I hated myself. We are called to die for Christ, to live for him. You know, not just die and then, and then live back in the flesh once, once he resurrects you, you know? A lot of people in Christ, what I notice is they get saved and they feel the Holy Ghost and they start to get filled, but they use it to indulge in their flesh. We cannot abuse the grace of God. Hallelujah. But I'm going to open it up. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Everyone give glory to God in the chat before I open it up. But I want to see. Okay, I think this brother has something to say. But yeah, okay. Where? Praise the Lord. Glory to God in the chat, everyone. Someone said no, it's he's, lagging he's back. He's speaking facts, though, right there. He's speaking facts. Like, man, one thing um, I've realized is that the Bible, the Bible says that do you not do you not do ye not know that your body is a temple for the Holy Spirit and for the Spirit of God, and the Holy Spirit that dwelleth within us is going to bring a form of godliness, but it also says that. They have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. And yet he each speaks fast. Like there's nothing that comes by the spirit, like the strength, the boldness, the courage, the love, the light, the, the fruits of the spirit. That's all God. It's all God. It's all him. So I was just like just over the weekend, we had uh, Maverick City Classic in Alabama. And so I promise you, like recently during this time of my life, I've been experiencing so much, which I, what, what the world would call deja vu, but I call it like God is letting me know that he's been showing me stuff. And I was leaning on that that gift. I was leaning on it. I was like, hold on, like God basically showing me like, I ain't going to say the future, but but it's it was because of him. It's because of his giving and his, his it's all him. It's, it's, it's just all him. It's nothing of our, it's nothing of ourselves. It's nothing of us. It's all. It's all him. And when when we can get to a into a selfless a selfish a self a selfless place, there we will find love, love. And it said, Jesus, right? He said, the greatest thing for a man to do is to die for his friend. He called us his friends, and so that in in him dying for us, it was love. How much more for us if we go out and we're we, we're being selfless and we're showing love, we're being children of God. We could in, in a lot of instances, we could get angry or so pride or be arrogant. But in those same cases, God is wants God wants to use each each one of us to be humble and still show love anyways. And still spread the word and still spread joy because we're called to be different from the world. We're called to be children of God. We're called to be examples of the kingdom of heaven. We are children of God. So, I, man, he's speaking facts. Speaking facts. Amen. Praise the Lord. But yeah, saints of God, um, we're definitely going to pray at. I'm, I'm an hour behind, so it's going to be 9 p.m. How many of you are willing to stay for the prayer? It's going to be about an hour of prayer if, if you guys want to join. I believe the anointing is going to be there. It's going to start in, in about 30 minutes. But how many of you are willing to pray too as well? Um, we could even do 30 minutes for the first night. But how many of you? Can I just see by a show of hands or, or comment in chat if, if you're willing to stay for the prayer? In Jesus' name. Someone said it's their bedtime, 30 minutes. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. I remember when I had a bedtime.
But now we staying in the night, you know, killing them demons in Jesus' name. But yeah, saints of God, I really want to read another scripture, just pouring out more wisdom to encourage the saints that are doing this fast because, hold up, let me read this comment. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll answer those kind of questions at the end. But yeah, there's a scripture that the Lord has put in my heart because there's just so much in the word of God that is hidden gems. And I want to start with, hold up, Matthew chapter 22, verse seven. I'm going to be reading the ESV. So if you guys have your Bible or the Bible app, maybe I could screen share and put it on or someone could post it. Matthew chapter 22, verse seven. Hallelujah. Well, I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to spit for you guys in Jesus' name. All through the Holy Spirit. And when everyone's there, just comment something in the chat so I know that you're there in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Let me know when you guys are there. YouTube too. If when you guys are there, Matthew chapter 22, verse 7. Okay, everyone's there. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to start from verse 1, actually. <laughs> I'm going to start from verse one and we'll get straight into it. Praise the Lord. So everyone, when you're at verse one, let me know. Okay, Matthew chapter 22. <clears throat> so this is the parable of the wedding feast. And this is very serious. This is a very serious parable. And there's so much nuggets in it. Let me pull up another scripture as well. So we're going to be looking at two scriptures. We're going to be looking at Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22 as well. But we'll start with Matthew chapter 22. So <clears throat> it says, starting from verse 1, And again, Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. So... The king is, we know who the king of kings is. The king, the king of kings is Jesus Christ. And sent his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding feast, but they would not come. So I look at that as, as the Israelites. How many of you know that Israel, they were God's people. They were called to, to inherit the promised land. But a lot of them rejected Jesus. A lot of them rejected God, the Jews. And it says this, again, he sent other servants saying, tell those who are invited, see, I've prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fat cows have been slaughtered and everything is ready. Come to the wedding feast. And then it says this from verse five, it says, but they paid no attention and went off one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest sees his servants treating them shamefully and killed them. The king was angry. And he sent his troops and destroyed those murders and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, the wedding feast is ready, but those invited were not worthy. So the people that rejected salvation, they were not worthy of entering the kingdom of God. Jesus said in his word that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man goes unto the father except through by him. So we have to know Jesus. But this is a key thing starting from from verse nine, it says, go therefore to the main roads and invite to the wedding feast as many as you find. So even with evangelism, that's why I evangelize guys, because salvation is not for a specific group. It doesn't matter if you're white or black or, or yellow or whatever. The, the wedding feast, the kingdom of God is for anyone who has ears to hear. And that, that's why the parable is speaking in this language. Let me invite this sister real quick. And then it says, I'll read verse nine it's, again. It says, go therefore to the main roads and invite to the wedding feast as many as you find. And those servants went out into the roads and gathered all whom they found, both bad and good. And notice how it says both bad and good, right? Why does it say both bad and good? Because isn't no man good without Christ Jesus? 
But no, the thing about the bad and good is there's wicked people. There's people with testimonies like Apostle Paul, you know? There's people out here. I know some of you here too. When you were in the road, you did bad things, you know? You might have not been a, a good person, but the things that you have done, it's like, man, I, I don't deserve the kingdom of God. The, the way I encountered Jesus Christ, I did not even deserve it, you know? And it says, both bad and good, so the wedding hall was filled with guests. And then it says this from verse 11. It says, but when the king came in to look at the guests, he saw there was a man who had no wedding garment. So there's someone in the, in the wedding feast. He has no garment. What does that represent, having no garment? And then the Lord said to him, I'm saying the Lord because this is what the parable is representing. And he said to him, friend, how did you get in here without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. And I want to ask you this for, for everyone that's listening in the chat and in here. Where is your wedding garment? You know, there's some of you that are fasting. You're in the feast. You're, you're with us, but you're not with us because you're not putting on the garment of righteousness. Jesus said to this person, where is your garment? And, and that's where I'm going to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. I'm reading the ESV. It says, to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires. There's some of you that are in Christ Jesus, but you still have your old garment. What is that old garment? You know, maybe you're, you're holding on to a hat of lust. You're, you're, old, you're, you're, you're wearing a glove of pride. You know, we have to completely die. What is that thing that you're holding on to? Because this parable is making it clear that if you take that old dirty garment to the wedding feast, Jesus is going to look at you and say, where is your garment? You know, I'm, I'm looking for a spotless bride. Why are you wearing a, a no bra to a wedding feast? You're, you're dressed like a prostitute. Hallelujah. But the verse is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. But here's the thing. There are certain garments that Jesus is looking for. See, we're saved by grace through faith. But this parable is showing that Jesus is going to look to some of you and say, where is your garment? Because we are the bride of Christ. Everyone common bride of Christ, you know? So what we have to do as saints of God, we need to prepare ourselves for war. We need to put on the full armor of God. The word of God in Ephesians 6, 12 says, put on the full armor of God. And there's another verse that says, a good soldier doesn't get entangled in civilian pursuits, but he, he, his will is to, is to please the one who enlisted him. So we need to make sure that we're not just dressed in a wedding suit. And in a, some of you ladies, I know there's ladies watching too and in this live, but you have to dress with modesty in, in an armor ready for war. Catch what I'm saying by the Holy Spirit. Did you catch that? Because we're not just here as the bride of Christ, but we're also in a war. So you might have a, a wedding dress, but you have a sword. You know, there's some people, they're like, I'm the bride of Christ, he loves me, and you're wearing a wedding dress, but God is looking at you and saying, where's your armor? The enemy is shooting arrows at you and you don't even have the breastplate of righteousness. You're, you're, wearing, you're wearing a dress, but where's your sword? You're, you're wearing a hat, you're, you're wearing a, a, a nice fancy hat, but where's your helmet? My God, hallelujah. I feel the Holy Spirit. But this is what it says. I'm going to keep reading. Hallelujah. How many of you are enjoying this? I feel the Holy Spirit strong. <laughs> but I'll, I'll start from verse 11. It says, but when the king came in to look at the guests, he saw there was a man who had no wedding garment. And he said to him, friend, how did you get in here without a wedding garment? <laughs> and he was speechless. Because when he stood before Jesus, he's like, you know, I'm saved by grace through faith. You know, I, like I, I thought I could, I thought I could live in sin. I, I thought I didn't have to die to masturbation. I, th I thought I, I could still have those old garments. The word of God says that you can't serve two masters. But then it says from verse 13, then the king said to the attendants, bind him hand and foot and cast him into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. 
Oh, man. And I feel the fear of the Lord, saints of God, because after that verse, it says weeping, welling, and gnashing of teeth. How many of you know that 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 servant went to hell? He went to hell, so he heard the gospel. He went to the feast, and he stood before the king of glory, and he said, bind him. Where is your garment? Saints of God, for everyone here that's watching, where is your garment? Why haven't you been fasting? You're, you're a Christian, but you don't have the garment of righteousness. We need to fast to kill to make sure our garments are righteous because we're the bride of Christ. He's going to be on that day of judgment. He's going to be looking for a spotless bride. I'm not, I'm not saying you never sin. You, you never fall into sin. But the thing about the old man is, do you have the new garments on or the old garments? Can you look at yourself before you were born again and say, I can't even recognize those garments those garments of lust, those are dead. I, I can't put them on. Snapchat, you know, Instagram, all those things. Hallelujah. But I'm going to go back to, to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22, because I want to read it. I'm reading the ESV. I know you guys are like, oh, man, he's reading the English standard, but it's all good. I love it. Praise the Lord. But it says, to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires. I'm going to read it in context too. So Ephesians chapter four, verse 22. I'm going to start from verse 20. It says, but that is not the way you learn Christ, assuming that you have heard about him and were taught in him. As the truth is in Jesus, to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to put on the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Hallelujah. Let me invite this sister. But I like how it said that. If you look at verse 24, it says, and to put on the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness. So there's a false righteousness. How many of you, and, and if you know the false righteousness, everyone comments self-righteousness in chat. Because self-righteousness is the false righteousness, but there's a true righteousness and holiness where it's, it's truly love, loving God. You know, And I always say this to people when I street preach. I say, you, okay, you believe in Jesus, but do you believe him? You know, there's many people that, oh, I believe in Jesus, but do you believe him? God says, I've called you to the nations. Why are you working at Target? There's some of you here, you don't even know why you're going through the spiritual warfare. God has called you to the nations. God has called some of you, but you're working a job that God has. Guys, I'm here to tell you, saints of God, Forever Blessed Ministries was birthed. I know many of you have seen my journey. I was saved radically at 18. God called me to nations. I knew it, but I'm like, nope, nope. God, I can't go to nations. I can't do what I'm doing. I'm too young. I want to go to college. Maybe I'll, I'll, you know, I'll go to Bible college. Literally, the Lord opened my spiritual eyes and spoke to me. He said, son, you are afraid of man. That's why you're here. I'm going to shake you, but remain in my presence. Little did I know, even though I was in a Christian circle, Christian university, I was outside of the will of God. There are some of you, hear me by the Holy Spirit, you're, go you're not going through spiritual warfare, but God is trying to warfare you into the will of God. He, the word of God says he chastises, he disciplines those who he loves. So God, if you're in a wrong relationship, the reason why you don't have peace is because the person that you're with is not who God called you to be with. The, the reason why you're feeling all this warfare, like, man, why am I not in the place where God has called me to be? Because you're not. The word of God says, strive to enter through the narrow gate because the road is narrow, but it's easy. It's easy when you walk in the will of God. It's difficult for those that are going in the wide road because everyone else is on the wide, is on the wide road. Praise the Lord. My bad. I stuttered for a second. But <laughs> I want to keep reading this, this last verse after Ephesians chapter 4, verse 25. It says, therefore, having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak the truth of his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be angry and do not sin. 
do not let the sun go down on your anger. I remember there was this young lady, probably around my age or, or younger. She messaged me. She's like, Jay, you know, I'm struggling with anger. You know, I really want to I really want to get back at this girl. She just made me angry. I don't know why. Like, I can't let it go. Well, I heard this, this saying, once the devil sees that you're angry, he has an open door. You know, the reason why we're fasting is to close the ungodly doors and open doors that God has for us that no man could shut. But when we fast, we are dying to anger. We are dying to lust. We are dying to the things of the flesh and we are living for the things of the spirit. But we must die to ourselves, saints of God. It's gonna be hard. You might be tempted. You might be hungry. You might be thirsting, but there should be a fire stirring up. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Some of you here, this fire is, is not gonna go out because what you have to do after the fire is in you, keep putting wood on it. Don't just say I receive, but let the fire die out. Keep putting wood on it. Keep fasting. This is the start. But the fire of God should be tangible. And we can't just let it go out. And yeah, we'll, we'll get into prayer in nine minutes. But I'm going to let those who are hearing just any words that you have to say. I know my, my sister, she joined. She has her hand up. So let me see what she has to say. Praise the Lord. But China, if you want to speak, praise the Lord. But everyone give glory to God in chat if you're watching on YouTube. Praise the Lord. Hey, Jerry. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Praise the Lord. Um, I was going to say, I heard that you said that um, like if you're in a place and like things like they feel like so unsettled, um, you said that maybe that's not the place where you should be at, right? Um, yeah. But, like, in my situation, it's kind of, it's like, I don't know, I don't know, like, okay, so this is crazy, but, like, one day, because um, I was going through a lot, and I, at, at one point, like, I was sleeping in the car and stuff, and I remember, like, telling God, and I was like, God, like, if you could, like, put me in a place where like a man, he owns a, a big business and he can give me like a job and he can help me out. Well, the thing is that like, it came true. And like, I had asked God that I wanted like to go back to school and all of that stuff. So I ended up going back to school and like, this man told me he was gonna like help me and stuff. But, and then he was like, he told me that like his assistants were gonna help me. The thing is that the thing is that it's not it's nothing like I thought it was gonna be. And like the the my uncle, he's like a pastor at this at this church, right? And he's in it too. But it's like I don't know how to explain it, Jay. Like, okay, yeah. so my dad yeah, yeah, I hear what you're saying. I don't want I don't want you to, to go too deep. I don't need a background check. I heard everything that I need to hear. First question that I want to ask you is is he a Christian? Like is he serving God? Yes, yeah, so he he actually does serve God. Um yeah. Okay, question but, two. Are you guys living together? Um no, but I mean, I'm, I stay at this church, so it's my uncle. Okay, okay. Okay, so yeah, so my uncle, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's, it's like a, I don't know how to explain it. So I got adopted from my country, right? My yeah. uncle, he's the one that, it's crazy because like, I don't know, it, I, my story is so long, like it's just so long. Yeah, yeah, The thing yeah. is that I went like through so many, through so many things. And all the time I've been out and in and out of houses cause I've been like getting kicked out of houses and all that stuff. So yeah. then finally I felt like, like um, finally when I told God that, I was like, hey God, like if you could give somebody who got a big business to help me. So the man was like, I'm gonna uh, pay you for you to go to school, get yourself together 
and I'ma put my assistants in charge. Well, the thing is that like the assistants, they don't want to help me. And remember when you told me last time, because I don't know if you remember, but last time you had told me that uh, you were like, did you have a dream about somebody doing um like something on you? And I don't know if you remember me telling you that, but I told you I was like, no. But then, then after that, I was like, whoa, whoa, never mind. I actually did have a dream like that. But it like, I don't know, like it slipped away. And the thing is like so much has happened this year. Like my dad died this year. I got in a car wreck or yeah, I actually had gotten a car wreck this year. And that, that car wreck felt like very spiritual. It was so weird. Cause like the girl looked at me. It's like, she made eye contact with me. And then I don't know how to explain it, but she just like ended up just crashing into me or whatever. And then, um, and then the other thing, my sister gave birth. So it's like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. And it's like, I don't know. Like, it's like, I feel like I've been asking yeah. God, but it's like, I can't hear God. And it's like, I'm like, God, am I even supposed to be in this situation? And then, you know, like with the whole situation with school too, I'm like, am I even supposed to be in school? Like, I'm not going to lie, Jay. Like, if God want me to be in school, I'll be in school. But at the same time, it's like, that's not my main goal in this life, Jay. Like, my main goal really is, like, I know that, like, I'm still struggling to get right with God. But, like, for real, my main goal is to be right and right standing with God above all Amen. else. That's, like, my, my, that's my desire of my heart is to, like, have God above all else. But Amen. I just Amen. feel like where I'm at, I feel uncomfortable. And then, like, the there's this lady in there. And I know we shouldn't be scared of, like, you know, witches and stuff like that. But I don't know what it is. Like, it's just, I yeah, feel yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, and yeah, I don't China, know if can, I, can I stop you for a second? Because I, I really want to, I really want to answer your your question, you know. Because I, I don't want to go too deep because the Holy Spirit already showed me, you know, wisdom. And I want you, China, after to pray for wisdom. Because here's the thing, and, and this is for everyone here that's watching on the YouTube and everyone here that you feel like life is, is just kicking you. You know, life is, even you might have a good job, you might have a good family, but here's the thing. This is the key word in the Holy Spirit, put it in bold letters, highlighted, not right with God. You know, when you're not right with, even if you're right with God, but you're not in the will of God, things are going to be scattered. You know, when I wasn't in the will of God, I was at university studying to be a Christian pastor. The Lord told me, son, you're not in the will of God. So you want to know what happened? Counterfeit relationships were forged into my life. People that said, hey, I love you. But seasons after, the Lord had to shake everything to show me, son, this is not where you're, you're supposed to be. But the thing about mm -hmm. it, China that I hear specifically with you, and, and this is where it's dangerous, and, and I'm not speaking to just you, but I'm speaking for everyone here. You have to be right with God. You have to be living in holiness because there's certain things, there's certain things in your life that you have to go through because of your disobedience. You know, I know certain people in the faith that they're suffering the same consequences that they did 13 years ago consequences mm -hmm. of divorce, marrying the wrong partner, now now having a child out of wedlock. There are certain things that happen to, to some people in life that you have to face the repercussions. But China, you mm -hmm. look young. I'm not going to assume how old you are, but the best thing that I could advise you is to follow the will of God, but to be in right standing because there's spirits of anti-progression. There's spirits of poverty, you know? Doing the will mm -hmm. of God will break you out of poverty, but when you're not in right standing, you will always suffer. You will always be in a place where it's like, man, everything's good, but there's something missing. Does that make right. sense? And, and I want everyone here to testify because some of you here are going through that. You know, there's some people here, you might be in, and I, I talk about this in my, in my testimony. There, I was in college. I had, um, I had a a quote unquote future ahead of me, but I wasn't in the will of God, you know? But was I living in fornication? Was I living in masturbation? Nope. But if you are living in sin, if you're smoking weed, getting drunk, there's spirits of anti-progression that are attacking you. And they're like, you know what? What would have taken five years is now gonna take 10 years. 
And God is saying that I have to allow it, my daughter, because you were disobedient. You were slow to answer the call of God. And I'm not saying God is going to give your calling to someone else. But the thing about the calling of God is it's contingent to your obedience. You know, even with me, there were certain attacks that I had that if I didn't pray and fast, I would miss the breakthrough. The Lord showed me. He would tug on my spirit. Son, you have to fast. Son, what you're going through is not physical. This is a spiritual issue. There's forces and principalities. The word of God says we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. And China, the thing about it too, with the person that that helped you out, you know, God doesn't just answer prayers. The devil answers prayers too. So we have to be discerning. The word of God says, be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove, you know? And I hope I'm speaking to many of you here because how many of you know the devil could answer prayers too? Not not everything that glimmers right. is gold. Not not everything that that shines is gold. Come on now. But yeah, yeah, I'll right. let you finish off. I've been hearing that. Like my sister been telling me, like maybe you need to find somewhere else. But it's like I don't know what to do. I don't know. Like I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. Like I don't know how to. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Like I don't know what to do. I don't know. Like, my situation is crazy. I don't know. Amen. Because yeah, it's yeah. all together. It's all together. It's, a, it's like, it's a whole bunch of people connected. And it's like, I'm against the wall. And then yeah. it's and it's just like, I don't know which way to go. Amen. Well, we'll pray for you. Because I said that, because we're running a little bit behind. I want to get into prayer. Actually, I said at nine o'clock where I live. Um, Praise the Lord. Let me put this prayer in time out. But I'm going to pray for you, China, and then everyone here that's still in the live, we're going to get into prayer in Jesus' name. But I'm going to pray for you, China, that the Lord's will would be done, because that's that's ultimately what matters, that you're in right standing with God. You know, I'd rather be in a car sleeping homeless in the will of God than be in a mansion outside of the will of God, you know, but I pray, yes. Lord, for China. I pray that your Holy Spirit would have your way, Lord God. Your word says that bad company corrupts good character, Lord. So remove, Lord, any bad company from her life, any bad voices, Lord, even what seems to be like a blessing, but it's really a deception from the enemy. For we know the devil, the God of this world, he has come, Lord, to blind the minds of the unbelievers. So so I pray, Lord, for for, a a sharp eye of, of wisdom and discernment on China's life, Lord, that she would discern what is your will. But most importantly, Lord God, that she would live in righteousness, Lord. For the word of God says, if your right hand cause you to sin, cut it off, Lord, for it is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one hand than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. So I pray that that conviction would be upon her heart, Lord. I pray that she would take this walk serious, that she wouldn't walk in disobedience, that she would walk in righteousness, that she would walk in holiness, that she would abide in you and you in her, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. And I heard the Lord say, like, cut off your hand. So, China, are you living in any type of immorality? No, I'm not. Okay. What What does he mean by that, though? Immorality, like sexual sin, fornication. No, I haven't had, I haven't had any type of sex in, like, two years, and I haven't watched porn in, like, a couple months. Okay, well, keep going, because I, I heard the Lord say a scripture, if your right hand caused you to sin, cut it off. So if, if there's any immorality, any weed, no more, any drinking, no more, cut off your hand. And yeah, and no drinking, no smoking. I haven't done any of that. Only thing I struggle with is like intrusive thoughts that I know he, he wants me to like cut that off. Amen. It really work. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Amen. Praise the Lord. But yeah, we'll get into prayer, saints of God. If anyone has anything to say, I want to really hear how everyone has taken this. But before we get into prayer, let me start the group chat. Let me start the group chat. I want everyone here to download Telegram. I don't even have it either, but I guess Telegram works. Unless there's a better app where we could start a group chat, but... Um, everyone here on YouTube and on the Zoom, download Telegram. Someone comments it in the chat so everyone here knows how to, to say it, but yeah. 
this group chat is only gonna be active for the fast. I'm gonna delete it after. And please don't hit me up. Don't hit me up personally, you know, after the fast, because I'm gonna I'm delete it after, you know. But this is for this is for the people that are fasting, specifically for those that are fasting. Um, everyone here, download Telegram. Let me comment it real quick. This is just a group chat where we could encourage each other, you know. But okay, I got Telegram. I'm gonna drop the link in in about a second. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But how do you guys like the teaching? Did anyone take anything from it? Wisdom, fear of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me look, look at the comments. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Okay. I'm going to drop the telegram right now. Jesus name. New group. The group is going to be called Fasting for Breakthrough. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm I'm putting the 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 telegram in about a second. I'm gonna drop it. Um, if if you're not on the YouTube, please go on the YouTube. Hopefully, Telegram doesn't leak my number, bro. Oh, man, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't leak my number. Is does Telegram leak the number? Hopefully it doesn't. Praise God. Okay, I'm dropping the, the telegram in the chat. In a second, I'm dropping the link right now. Everyone bear with me. I'm just setting a profile picture. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but yeah, okay, I'm dropping. And then we'll get into prayer. In Jesus' name. Okay, how do I... How do I drop the link? Saints of God, is there anything else? Is there anything else but Telegram or is Telegram the, the best thing to use? Because I'm trying to find the link to the thing, but Telegram is being very weird right now. Okay, I found the invite link. There we go. Okay, I'm dropping it in, in the YouTube. I'm going to try to drop it in the Zoom as well. Let me take it, and then I'm going to drop it in the Zoom. Okay, there we go. Praise the Lord. Okay, I just dropped it. Praise the Lord. The telegram. So this is going to be a group chat where we could encourage each other. Everyone join it. Okay, we got a couple people joining. I'm going to drop in the Zoom in about a second, and then we'll get into prayer. In Jesus' name. Okay. Could someone do me a favor and drop it in the in the Zoom chat too as well? Cuz my thing is stuck. Okay. Never mind, I got it. I got it. Okay. Uh, there we go. I just dropped it in the Zoom. Okay, let's get into prayer, saints of God. Who's ready? Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me put my thing on mute. I'm excited. I'm excited. Amen. Okay, we got a lot of people. Praise the Lord. 
yeah, I don't really like Discord that much. But yeah, we'll get into prayer. We'll do 30 minutes. We'll start in about it's 9, 10. Let me unmute everyone. I want everyone to, to, to give glory to God in Jesus' name. Come on now. Amen. Let's go. Come on. Amen. Glory, Amen. Glory, glory to God. Come on. 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 Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. God is good. God bless you, brother. Thank you. Bless everyone. Bless everyone. Amen. God bless everyone. Y'all ready for prayer? In the mighty name of God. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Praise the Lord. But we'll get into it. I'm going to share my screen let me put on uh we're gonna do like an instrumental intercession real quick i'm gonna share my screen for a second dun, dun, dun. hold up I'm going to play it in about a second, saints of God. Give me a second. I'm just configuring the screen share. Okay, there we go. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so we're going to do a 30-minute prayer. If the Holy Spirit leads, then we'll probably do an hour. But we're, we're just going to pray that the Holy Spirit would lead in Jesus' name. Um, I'm just doing the screen share. Okay, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. I don't know why this thing. Would y'all prefer to still be on the Zoom when I do the prayer, or y'all want to just do do the prayer from the thing? Okay, there we go. Can everyone see my screen? Everyone comment in chat. I'm going to start it. I just want to make sure that you guys could hear it too. But we're going to we're we're about to get into prayer in Jesus name. Oh, my thing my thing isn't showing in OBS. Oh man. Okay, hold up. Let me um bear with me chat for a second. Okay, y'all should be able to see it now. Is it showing? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, never mind, it's not. Saints of God, we might have to, I might have to stop it on Zoom. Cause I don't know if I could play the audio at Zoom and stream it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I might I might end the call and, and go to YouTube. I just don't want you guys to get encouraged and, and be like, you know, he, since he's not in the in the call with us, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I mean, if y'all wanna cheat, y'all y'all only cheating yourselves. But I'm about to I'm about to start the, the audio in the name of Jesus. Oh now I could see it. What the heck? Okay, they could see it, but Praise the Lord. 
Okay, okay. Boy. Okay, we'll we'll definitely go on YouTube. We'll we'll do it on YouTube. I'm gonna end the call real quick. Saints of God. Y'all just go on YouTube. Everyone join the YouTube stream. We're we're gonna pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm gonna end the meeting. In Jesus' name. Okay, so I'm gonna put that. Then I'm gonna screen share. Okay, I messed up. Okay, I'm trying to. One last thing is I'm trying to put the the thing in there. I mean, right there. I'm trying to add the the screen share thing in there. Yeah, okay, everyone, we're about to get into prayer. I'm going to put the audio too. Let me just grab my AirPod real quick and we'll get straight into it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, so I got my AirPod in. Can y'all see me? Okay, there we go. I know what to do. It's just going to take a second real quick. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Oh man. I'm I'm completely butchering it. See this this is Satan. This is the spiritual warfare. Come on now. Every, everyone start interceding. I'm I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get it real quick. Come on, intercede for me. I'm I'm just trying to get the thing in the box. Oh man. Okay. All I need to do is get this. Okay. There we go, come on. Okay, da da. We almost got it. We almost got it. <laughs> oh man, okay. We just got it. Okay. Maybe y'all could still hear it. Can y'all still hear it? I'm gonna play the thing. Can y'all hear the, the audio? Let me test it. Just got it. Okay. Okay. Maybe y'all could still hear it. Let me see if y'all could hear it. I'm gonna play the thing. Can y'all hear the, the audio? Nah, y'all can't hear it. Dang. Hold up. 
Okay, I'm gonna get this to work. <laughs> oh my. We might just have to do it like, I might just have to play it from my phone, saints of God. I might just play it from my phone. Are y'all cool with that? I'm gonna play it from my phone. We not we not letting Satan win. I'm just gonna turn up my gain a little bit. Y'all will be able to hear it good. Okay. Praise the Lord. Everyone should be able to hear it. Can everyone hear it? Are we good? Oh, it's lagging. Okay, I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to try one more thing. Let me do that. Let me delete this. Okay. I'm going to delete this. Give me a second, give me a second. I'm trying to part two at the same time. Okay, y'all should be able to hear it. Can y'all hear it? Can y'all hear it? Someone said the lie go crazy. Man. The devil is a liar, bro. Okay, I'm going to go back on Zoom. Everyone join join back the Zoom. We're we're going to do it on Zoom. I know what to do. Everyone um I'm going to start a new Zoom call. Is everyone still here? That was on Zoom. I'm going to do it from Zoom and then share the screen. It's going to work in Jesus' name. Everyone join the Zoom. I feel like the, the Zoom thing is going to work. OS. Okay, I'm on Zoom. I'm going to drop the link in about two seconds. Praise the Lord. Okay, I'm dropping the link right now. In Jesus' name. Y'all don't want to join the Zoom? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share the screen on the Zoom, and then y'all should be able to hear it. Everyone, 
Everyone join the Zoom. I'm probably gonna end the, the, the stream on YouTube, if anything. Okay. Someone's saying the Telegram, he's back on Zoom. Or not he, we, we're back on Zoom. Someone commented on, someone comment on the Telegram, we're back on Zoom. Hey, God is good, bro. Amen. God is good all the time. Amen. Okay. Comment. We're back on Zoom. Everyone join the Zoom. I'm going to pin it back on my thing. Okay. Man, that wasn't 30 minutes. Here. We're going we're gonna to pray. See, this is the spiritual warfare just to go into prayer. This is how you know this prayer is about to go. Amen. Hey, man, that wasn't 30 minutes, man. <laughs> that was a 30 minutes prayer. Oh, you about to pray? No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're, we're going to pray. Let me, let me mute everyone. Praise the Lord. But yeah, we're waiting for everyone to join in and then we're going to pray. Y'all, Y'all should be able to hear it from here. At least, if my OBS can't get it, that's that's fine. Okay. Out of view. Everyone left the live. Everyone's joining the Zoom. Okay. I'm going to put on the intercession. Because I, I, I'm able to share my computer audio. But, oh, man, I rebuked that. I, I just pray that you guys could hear it. Can you guys hear my computer audio? Someone comment if you could hear it. Okay, you could hear it. Can can y'all hear it on YouTube? Okay, I'm gonna stop it right there. Mapalo not joining. Okay, let me see if y'all could hear it. Can you guys hear my computer audio? Someone come. Okay, okay. We, we got it, saints of God. Come on now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. Y'all could hear. Come on. <laughs> come on, somebody. We're about to slap the devil. Praise the Lord. Come on. Let me, let me unmute everyone. So we're, we're about to rejoice. Come on. See, that's how warfare be sometimes, you know? You, you got to go through the struggle. The Come on now. Amen. Come on. So Come on, somebody. Jesus' name. But yeah. Praise the Lord. Okay, yeah, but we're, we're about to get into prayer. If the Lord highlights someone, I'm going to pray for you, but this is going to be a corporate prayer. We'll, we'll start at 1030 Eastern time, 930 if you're in Texas. I'm about to, we're about to start at like 930. So if you're planning on joining, then join. If you're on the YouTube and we'll get straight into it. We're going to pray in the Holy Ghost. Can you guys hear me while the audio is playing too? Like the sound, is it is it a good balance? Just comment real quick. Uh, as we get into prayer. Okay. If the Lord. Praise the Lord. But we're going to start with singing. You know, I, I like to sing, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So we'll sing. The word of God says, enters quotes with thanksgiving. So you could thank him. And then I'll, we're just going to sing. And then 
we'll get straight into prayer for 30 minutes. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Kole, kole je, kole jo pale jo, kole jo pale jo so, kole je. Hallelujah, everyone. Just soak in his presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your goodness, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Kole je so, kole jo, kole je so, kole, kole je jo so, kole jo je so, kole je jo, kole jo je so la je. Kole je so, kole jo, kole je, kole, kole je so. Kola, kola yo sole, kola ye, kola ye yo sole, kola ye so, kola ye yo so. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are praying for breakthrough, Lord. I pray that your Holy Spirit would just come upon us strongly, Lord. Lord, have your way, Lord God. We pray right now and we decree and declare victory, Lord God. Have your way. I pray the presence of God would show up like never before, Lord God. We are believing for breakthrough, Lord God. For your word says, Lord God, that the righteous have suffered violence and the violent take it by force, Lord. So we pray right now for breakthrough, Lord. We pray for your anointing to be upon us, Lord. We pray that you would stir up the fire that you have given every each one of us, Lord God, in Jesus' name. God. Yo we go la ye yo so la ye yo. Erdo bu shadadande yo ko kadadande da badadande sudo bu kadadande yo ko kadadande da badadande sudo bu kadadande erdo bu shadadande da badadande sudo bu kadadande da badadande sudo bu kadadande yo ko kadadande da badadande sudo bu kadadande erdo bu shadadande da badadande sudo bu kadadande have your way lord. Yoko Kadadande de Bodadande, Sudabaka Bodadande, Erebu Shadadande de Bodadande, Sudabaka Bodadande, Yoko Kadadande de Bodadande, have your way, Jesus. Yoko Kadadande de Bush Shadadande, Yoko Kadadande de Bodadande, Sudabaka Bodadande, Yoko Kadadande de Bodadande, Sudabaka Bodadande, Erebu Shadadande, keep going. Yoko Kadadande de Bush Shadadande, Yoko Kadadande de Bodadande, Sudabaka Bodadande, have your way, Lord, fill this place. Yoko Kadadande de Bush Shadadande, Yoko Kadadande de Bodadande, Sudabaka Bodadande. Go, I, yo, so, I, yo, so. 
go la ye yo so la ye yo e so go la ye so e go la ye so e go la ye rabu shadanda yo ko kadanda rabu shadanda yo ko kadanda rabu dadanda sudu bagada bagadanda yo ko kadanda rabu dadanda sudu bagada bagadanda Hello, Bush shattered under the border under Sulubada border under Yoko Cutter under the Bush shattered under Yoko Cutter under the border under Sulubada border under Hello, Bush shattered under Yoko Cutter under Keep pressing, guys. Go deeper. Look, the Lord is right there. The word of God says, Where two or more are gathered, there he'll be in the midst of us. So press in in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are going deeper, Lord. We need more of you, Lord. Stir us up, Lord God. Lord, send us out, Lord God. In Jesus' name, Lord, have your way. Yahweh, 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 have your way, Yahweh, Lord. Erebu Shadadan de Bodadanda, Yoko Kadadan de Rabu Shadadanda, Yoko Kadadan de Bodadanda, Sudabaka Bodadanda, Yoko Kadadan de Bodadanda, Sudabaka Bodadanda, Erebu Shadadan de Yoko Kadadan de Bodadanda, Sudabaka Bodadanda, Erebu Shadadan de I pray the fire of God right now in Jesus' name. Yoko Kadadan de Bodadanda, Sudabaka Bodadanda, Erebu Shadadan de Bodadanda, Sudabaka Bodadanda. Lord, I pray for my sister, Diamond Lord. I pray the fire of God upon Diamond Lord. We sever every spirit of incubus. We rebuke every night creature. I bind every unclean spirit and we send it to the abyss. We pray fire right now in Jesus' name. Yoko Kadadanda de Bodadanda, Erebu Shadadanda, Yoko Kadadanda de Bodadanda, Sudabu Kadabadadanda. Lord, I pray for my sister, Brandy, Lord. I pray that you would stir her up, Lord. I pray that you would quicken her, Lord. I pray the fire of the Holy Ghost upon her, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, have your way. Pour out your spirit upon us, Lord God. Fresh anointing, Lord God. Fresh anointing, Lord. Fresh wind. Yoko Keep going. Yoko Kadadanda de Bodadanda, Herobu Shadadanda de Bodadanda, Yoko Kadadanda de Bush Shadadanda, Yoko Kadadanda de Bodadanda, Sudubaka Bodadanda, Herobu Shadadanda de Bodadanda. Go la ye yo. Go la ye. 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 Hello, Bush Shadow Dunder. 
Yoko Yoko Kanadande, we burn up lukewarmness in Jesus' name. We burn up backsliding in Jesus' name. We pray fire in the name of Jesus. Yoko Kanadande, double fire in the name of Jesus. Yoko Kanadande, double shadadande. 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 Yoko Kanadande, deeper lord take us deeper keep pressing keep pressing the lord is saying keep going i come against any demonic interference in the connection in jesus name I pray stable connection in Jesus' name. Yoko Kadadanda, Herobu Shadadanda, the Bodadanda, Silva Kadabadanda. Yoko Kadadanda, the Bush Shadadanda. Herobu Kadadanda. Yoko Kadadanda, the Bush Shadadanda. Yoko Kadadanda, the Bush Shadadanda. Yoko Kadadanda, the Bush Shadadanda. Herobu Shadadanda. Keep going, Herobu Kadadanda, the Bush Shadadanda. Yoko Kadadanda, the Bush Shadadanda. I pray fire. Let the anointing break every yoke in Jesus' name. We come against the kingdom of darkness. We come against every spirit that come from Halloween. We come against every demonic spirit. I break it by the fire. I break it by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I pray fire in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the presence of God. Presence of God come upon your people. Fire in the womb. Deliverance. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Yoko 
I pray fire in Amber's womb in Jesus' name. Fire in her womb in Jesus' name. Fire in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that every yoke would be dinged. 